going to go at it. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm running a little bit today. We, I want to tell you, and, and I don't want this to sound competitive, okay? Although competitive is not bad. But if you're, if you're not seeing it, just keep taking the right action. Because over the last two months, I've seen something very unusually un unusual happening in this company. And here's what I mean by it. Since I've been in network marketing and for all of our new people, and Angela, we're so excited to have you a part of our company. You know, me transitioning from being a coach and a principal of a high school to getting inside of network marketing, I was learning. Like I was having to learn this industry, learn how to do it, like just follow the leader. And what I noticed is as year one turned to year two and year two turned to year five and year five turned to year 10, there's different parts of the year that you have a lull. And what happens in June and July for most people across the world? They go into the summer months. They're traveling with the family. They're on vacation. And what happens in Thanksgiving and, uh, you know, November and December? You got Thanksgiving and Christmas and people's eating too much food and they're spending time with their family. And so there's lulls in the business during that time. But I've also been a part of a company that was expanding and blowing up. And during those times, it, would, it was really busy. That's what I'm seeing here with Partner Co. right now. June and July has been unusually busy. Like people calling, people scheduling, people connecting you with people. And that's a very good sign for the future for our company. And if you're brand new or if you've been here for a long time, if you can think back and go, man, how ground floor are we with Partner Co.? We launched this company name in February. That's how new. February. So March, April, May, and June. So a little over four months, going into five months that we have announced to the world partner co. And so a couple of things that I want to say, if you're someone that wants to make some really good money, you've come into this company at a really awesome time. And you just got to plug in and you got to follow the leaders and you got to do what the doers are doing. And when I look back on my career, that's how I made all the money in the industry that I've made. You know, I've made millions and millions of dollars in commissions, not bragging, truthful. But I did it not because I was so great. I just did it because I looked at the hot hand, if you will, and I followed the hot hand. I followed the fire. And I was just willing to do what the fire was doing rather than what I thought was the best. Does that make sense? Because there's all kinds of people on this chalk talk. There's analytical thinkers. We love you so much. I'm not one of those. There's, there's the jump into the fire and realize, holy crap, it's really hot in here type people. There's the people that are cautious and they got to see everybody. Like we make up every kind of person there is on this Zoom. But the biggest thing I can tell you is no matter what kind of person you are, if you will just follow the person that is growing, that is doing, that is, that is running, no matter how many years you've had in the industry, you're going to up your chances of driving significant income. And really special things happen when the company itself is going through an upward tick of expansion. And so I think that's what we're starting to see inside of Partner Co. Um, so in saying that, does anybody want to speak up on that? Tammy, you've been you've been around. Anything you want to say? You could unmute. 
And, and just so everybody knows, if, while Tammy's unmuting, Tammy's been in the industry, um, I'm going to say eight years, eight plus years. Almost 10. Almost 10. I was thinking it was eight or 10. And, and But here's what I can tell you. She's built at a, ho- a high level. She's built an international business. Um, she came here broke, just like all of us. Life threw a curveball. They lost all of their income, and that drove her to the industry. Mm-hmm. But she's made a lot of money here, and she's seen a lot of things. So, Tammy, with Partner Co. right now, like, like, what, what has you going, okay, now's the time to, to get that next movement of business in your business? Thanks, Brent. I would absolutely say my how, what I am so jazzed at is the leadership in this company. I look at John Wadsworth and Darren, and I'm just like amazed that these are the men that are leading this company. I know their heart, their passion. I know their commitment to the field. It's like, uh, it's how I feel about you too, Brent, quite frankly. It's like, I will run up a, I will run to the top of the mountain with somebody that I can link arms with and be like-minded with people that are committed to me and committed to my team. And that's the thing I see that they are so committed to us. They're, they're innovative. They're doing new things. They're helping us. They're coming alongside us. They're not competing with us. They're helping us. They're listening to the field. And when you have that kind of, everything rises and falls. You know, I was privileged to work with a man named John Maxwell for a couple of years. And he was a leadership guy that some of you may know. He was pretty bright, a pretty bright uh, star in the leadership um, space. But he would always say the same thing. Like when we would be in trainings and 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 speaking in different um, venues, he would always say, everything rises and falls. Everything good and everything negative rises and falls on leadership every single time. And leaders know the way, show the way and go the way. That was another one of his favorite all, you know, quotes of all time. And so I think that's what we look at link arms with your leadership. I'm excited to see. I mean, I look at some of our leaders like Dr. Crystal Vance and I'm telling you and Ashley Paulson and their whole organization, if you are on their organization, put a put a heart on your on your uh, your little uh, picture, because I'm telling you, the, these ladies are doing it. They are incredible leaders. And if you see people doing something that works, I encourage you, do what they are doing. And so I guess that's where I'm, I'm super excited, Brent, because, you know, I've been here through transition after transition after transition. We've seen really high days. We've seen more challenging days and we've gotten back into high days. But I do believe with every transition, if we choose, if we choose, we will see the good in it and we will be able to continue to build in this business. That's the beauty of this business. Even with transitions, you can continue to build, create residual income. And uh, it's, it's, it's not just informational, it's transformational. And this is a transformational business. So I am excited. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Tammy. And 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 I want you, I want you to hear from a few people because we have an event coming up in Orlando. I'm actually going to be, I would highly recommend at 8 p.m. Central Time Zone tomorrow night. Andrea Roster is going to put out today the call for tomorrow night at 8 p.m. And I'm going to be on that call and I'm going to be talking about um, the power of the PXP event in Orlando coming up in August. I'm sorry, in September. Oh, yeah. And it's not, this event is the first event that Partner Co. will have in the United States corporate week, corporate wise. There's going to be a lot of attention to it. There's going to be a lot of people at the event. There's going to be a lot of energy there. There's going to be a lot of vision there. 
but also it's an event that a lot of you, not all, but a lot of you could drive to. Um, but I'll tell you, if you want, and I don't think you would even be on this call today if you didn't, I would just highly recommend all of you that are on this call to be at the event. Find a way. If money's what you're after, then you need to be at this event. Um, it's that important. And that important to you. Um, no matter if you're coming from Canada, you're coming from, you know, around the United States, like find a way to make it to this event. Anthony Moreland has been on a lot of Zooms lately with Todd Rowland and, and, and a lot of the ladies there and the new growth that Todd's got. Anthony, as you sit on that Zoom, Anthony's been around the industry a long time. And I always say, you know, there's a, it, it matters what you're doing right now, Ben. You know, you know, I've been a part of this business where I watch somebody that kind of grows but doesn't make a lot of money. And then something changes. And usually what that something is is new enrollments, new teams, new growth. And I tell everybody I've watched Anthony do that over the last several months. I've watched him add new people to the business like he hasn't ever added. He's growing teams like he's never grown. They're teaching a system now. But it's because he's been plugged in so much, I know, and on the Zooms and knowing what to say. Anthony, what, what's kind of, what are you seeing? What, what, what's your excitement for the future? Well, Brent, I don't think I've been this excited since we got started. Me and you got started around, me, you, Andrea, and a few others. We got started around the same time. And, and it went from, you know, just something we were doing on the side. After our first event, I think it was, uh, was it Dallas or one of those events we went to? And um, we just watched something happen over the next two years. And I promise you, there's a time that you want to plug in. It's right now. It's like everything is coming to line. It's happening all over again. And it's going to be even on a bigger scale because in our former company, we was only in the United States and Japan. So this one, 50 plus countries. The opportunity of a lifetime for you to do something magical for you and your family and just watching so many people uh, come on board, you know, like Brent said, the summer months are normally slow. Normally, we don't really do much in July, for sure, right around this time of year. And this has been the most busiest I've been in a long time, just on Zooms, on calls, on two-on-ones and parties. And it's just, it's, it's amazing, Brent. It's just exciting. It's Anthony, it's exciting. And, and, you know, I was just going to show you a picture again, this is not bragging on me. This is just real actual results. Less, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can see this with my background. I'm going to turn my background off, but bottom line is this whole page is filled with new enrollees, new people joining personally. Um, because of my excitement for where we're going. And I'm just getting started. I'm just getting warmed up uh, because it takes a change in your behavior. Like, like people can talk about the business. They can dream about the business. They can, you know, but until you start having meetings, until you start doing Zooms, until you start actually selling things like, like sending a smart link, selling product, whatever you do, where you turn retail into a recruit, okay? Like the Scott said it last Saturday on a call. Until you start doing that income producing, it's all kind of just, it's just talk, which is okay, because that talk builds belief. But once that belief gets built, that's go time. And so for me, I had to go sit with the owners. I had to turn around two weeks later and go back and sit with the owners. I had to go through some transition of watching. And now I'm sitting at a, right here going, it's go time. It's go time for me, you know? And I only compete with myself. Andrea Rosser, I don't know if she's still on. Andrea is about to leave for California. Uh, I told this to Andrea, there, there, 
there's a person that, that one time in our business that was trying to compete with me, like wanted to challenge me on stage, wanted to do this. Anthony, you remember? And I said, man, he picked the wrong person because I don't compete with you. I compete with myself. Like you needed to pick somebody else that would challenge you a little bit because I won't challenge you. I'm just going to love you. Like I'm just going to love on you. I don't, I don't make you feel good about competition with me because I don't compete. I compete with myself. But when, when, when I get my vision right and my belief is set, it's go time. And I will only focus on income producing activities. That means, Ronnie, how many appointments did I set today? What did I do today? And so I share that with you because we all have an equal playing field right now. And that's a company that the world does not know about, but they will. But they will. And what I wanted to tell you, first of all, Orlando, you get to make a decision. I look across and I see Alan Schultz. I hope he makes the decision. Alan White, I hope he makes his, I know Alan will, he does not miss an event. Uh, Bill and Susan, like why? Because I just, I want us going to this place together. And so you got to kind of just, you got to make it, you got to go get your ticket, you got to find a way. I am in the process of trying to rent an Airbnb where I'm going to do some things at that Airbnb close by to the facility. We've got a lot of special things to talk about. When Tomorrow night, if you'll get your team on the call, we're going to start throwing a lot of things out about the PXP event, a lot of recognition for getting registered. A lot of things are coming after tomorrow night's call. So if you want your team engaged and want to be on, jump on over to Andrew's call at 8 o'clock tomorrow, Central tomorrow night. She'll put out the flyers and stuff. I hope she's listening in. <laughs> I couldn't do this business if she wasn't listening. Okay. Yeah, I see her on. So back to what I said about June and July. Most things are dead during June and July. They're not dead. They're pick, they're, they're, it's been busy. But here's what happens. After the 4th, everybody starts engaging. And it it... So we've got to run between the 4th all the way to Thanksgiving. From July the 4th to Thanksgiving, if you make a decision to start putting it out there, and you go, what, what do I need to put out there? Like, put it out on social media. Make a list of people to talk to. Like, go sit down with them. Take them a jug of water and say, I got something for you. I want to put this in your refrigerator. Keep it cold. I want to sit down and talk with you. Like what I mean is get out to the world and start connecting. Whatever that looks like to you. We've got a clean run from now until November before things start slowing down around Thanksgiving. And you can absolutely crush this thing between now and then. When I think about somebody like Robin Perone, people talk about her, you know, no income claim, but, you know, I think they said somewhere around $50,000 she's made in the last 10 weeks. So here's my point. Would that change your life right now? Would 25000 change in a 10-week period? Would $1,000 a month change your life? If you'll make a commitment right now to go all in with us from now until November, we could look back and go, man, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. So it's go time. I want you to know that on the call. It's go time. And then the other thing is there's a lot of people right now that are, that are putting things out on social media, okay? I'm going to have to unscrew. Uh, I, I got to move my. To bear, bear with me for a second. So, if there's anybody else, that can pull up yours, your, your, um, so. For me, 
when I get in the spirit of recruiting, you're always going to know it because I'm I'm about to throw it out there in everybody's face all the time. Videos, pictures, before and afters, it doesn't matter. Because I I look at Facebook, Instagram, TikTok as a monetization of my business. Some people look at it like a social club. I look at it like, no, that's the platform that I monetize my business. But you can also do it without Facebook, right? You got to decide your area. But my point being is, when you start doing it, you start getting in a lot of conversations. Susan, have you ever got fired up before and gotten into a lot of conversations on Facebook? So I'm going to go to Susan Saylor because she'll talk to me. Unmute Susan, if you will. I love Susan and Bill. Susan's my favorite. Okay. So <laughs> I'm kidding. Not kidding. But um, Susan, take me back to one of those times. Like, take me back to a time where you, something happened and you were like, all right, I'm about to start a lot of conversations. Well, it, it always comes, for me, it seems like it always comes from the most least likely posts that I think it's going to, uh, you know, in, in business or just the social posts. Uh, but when it comes to business ones, uh, it, it might just be a simple little thing like, you know, we were doing uh, renew a lot and that the question, just the polls or questions and boom, the conversation starts. And it seems like when somebody hops on it, uh, then a lot of people hop on it. And, and uh, sometimes it can, you want to you want to answer as quickly as you can. Uh, but sometimes that can be difficult too, but it's an exciting, it's an exciting thing to go through because you, you're getting people to talk to and you're getting them uh, engaged with what you have. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And something, you know, you said when we launched Renew, so there was something exciting that happened in the company that you just started, you started putting Renew out there. And then what happened when you did it? She just said it. She started getting engagement. Okay. Now I share that. Alan Schultz, if you'll unmute. So Alan has recently had Susan talked about getting excited over renew and starting a bunch of conversations that led to sales. I mean, if I asked Susan, if did you sell any renew during that time? Possibly enrolled brand partners. Yes, yes. So, so positive things happened. Maybe it didn't take her to where she wanted to go. Oh, but but she moved the needle. Alan right now is excited, and he started. So, so tell us what you're doing. What? I just listened and did did what the leaders are saying, and I look for some of the uh, before and afters, and I try to put something out at least twice a day, usually early and late. And then just respond as they come in. Uh, one well, of those what are you? What are you? I, I know you're using the five day trials. I know you're using Slender Right, but I mean, so so tell us what you're doing out there, Alan. Because the reason I say that is because Alan is now connecting people to me, and he's enrolling brand partners because that's the name of the game, right? So, but 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 how are you introducing this? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um. Of course, I'm talking to people and listening to what what I what people say when I'm out and about. But uh, from a uh, social media standpoint, I'm just following what the leaders are doing, using some of those, putting it out. Last night, late 9:30, I put out a post, and 17 minutes later, I sold two boxes that I delivered while ago. When this meeting started, I was on my bike on the way back, so I just respond to it, and it, that's how quickly sometimes it happens. They said, "Can you bring me some of the shop tomorrow?" Um, I've had people that are interested in the business and want to look at the money side of it and uh, whether they need more definition to the products, I'll either get them to a meeting. I've used Brent, others for three-way calls, um, even one-on-one -on -one meeting. And had success in all avenues, actually. So let me say this. 
because you just nailed a couple of things. You're putting things out there. You're retail selling product, making money every time you do it, whether it's five-day trials or slenderize or something you're doing. But then when you find somebody that's interested in making more money, are you trying to do it by yourself? No, sir. No, sir. I use, I use you yesterday and anybody I can. It, I think it's a good fit for that person and what their interests are, maybe. This person so, said, I'm definitely interested in more money. So obviously I asked you and you were kind enough to help us out. And uh, we met and she's going in in a few minutes. So let me say this, because this is a misconception. Here's what happens. I've been a part of it for a long time. Somebody will hear this on a call and they'll, everybody will reach out to Anthony Moreland to do Zooms or, or calls. Well, he can't do them all. He can't do them all. And what, what, what we don't realize sometimes is it, it doesn't take somebody, it just takes another person to do a call. Don't do it by yourself. So where do you find those people to do calls with? You come to an event. You get to know them. You get on this call right here. You start to, you start to reach out to them. You network within your company. And then you just ask, hey, would you mind to get on a call? Crystal Vance closed a call for me the other day, yesterday, actually. So I share that with you to say, as you're out there, as you're sharing, follow up, follow up, follow up with people, but then connect them to somebody. Don't do it by yourself. This is a weird industry. like. I come from the job world. I mean, you raise your hand if you if you had a job or you still have a job. I know I did. Like, I mean, I'm talking about a job. Like, I get paid for the time I'm there. They're not paying me for a minute more. And it's weird to come to this industry and somebody get you in the business and you almost employ them. Here's what I mean by that. Alan Schultz can use me 10 hours this week or he can use me zero hours. It's his choice. Does that make sense? Anthony Moreland, why? Because, because we're financially connected. And so if the more Anthony grows, the more my paycheck grows too. He benefits, I benefit, everybody wins. So would I ever turn down a call of Anthony Moreland going, hey, hey, coach, I've got somebody you to talk to? What would the answer be, Anthony? It's always yes. What time? <laughs> but if Anthony never asked me, guess how many calls I'm going to do for him? Zero. Or maybe it's Andrea Rossi. Or maybe it's Bill and Sue Salem, like, like, or maybe it's Alan White. So my point being is, is you've got to have multiple people to connect with. And then you got to ask yourself, am I, the key to building this and getting your part of Partner Co. is to get good at connecting dots. Let's say Anthony was the person you were going to connect people to. Because you and Anthony have mutual financial means right we we do train and blur the lines of sponsorship but let's be honest somebody can't work for free all the time so you gotta you, you gotta have a financial mutual thing to spend a lot of time with somebody that's just the truth i mean alan white loves concrete but he's not gonna do it for free every day so, and if you are, that'll get old. That'll wear you out. <laughs> so my point being is, is if, if Bob, Dr. Bob is sitting here and he wants to grow and make a lot of money here and be a part of Partner Co., then he just starts making a list of all his patients from over the years and he starts connecting, checking on them, how they're doing. Listen, got something I'm interested in. 
And then he goes, hey, Brent, would you jump on a Zoom with so-and-so they're interested in the business? Absolutely. Why? Because we're mutually tied in business together. But if Dr. Bob never calls, then guess what? I can't help him grow. And so many times somebody will get in the business and they feel awkward to call that person and say, can you help me? Because that's not the way of the world. That's not the way of the job, society. But it is the way we build in this industry. It's the way we help people. So for instance, right now, Angela is brand new. Crystal wants Angela to blow her up with people to talk to. Angela's going to make a lot of money from Crystal helping, and Crystal's going to make money too. It's a perfect win-win-win. But if Anna Jersa never connects anybody to Ashley Paulson to talk to, Ashley doesn't win, Anna doesn't win. So, so you get what I'm saying? The key goal right now, if you were going, how do I make this happen, is I would get out as much as you could get out social media, in person, and I'd play a game and compete with yourself. How many connections can I make with somebody in the company and a prospect? How many connections? I've watched Ronnie Blakely. I've showed up to meetings and Ronnie will show up with a stranger that he met at a hotel. And they'll come over to a meeting together. Am I right or am I wrong, Ronnie? Because he, he was zeroed in on prospecting people. Zeroed in. Right now is the time to zero in. Now, what I see out there, doesn't matter what you're using. Let's say it's the five-day trials. You got to follow up with your customers. If you give them a trial and you let them sit there for 48 days, they're going to be gone. You wasted a lead. But if you give them a trial and follow up in three days and you become their cheerleader, you will then win them over and start recruiting them to the business or at least to an auto ship customer. The fortune is truly in the follow-up. So I'll move it to the drops. If you're doing the drops, if you're selling the drops, be a cheerleader for that person you just gave a box to. Meaning the first day they started, you're like, oh my goodness, Susan, I can't wait. Listen, you don't have to share this with anybody, but take a picture of yourself. Measure yourself because this thing attacks visceral fats. And you're going to see when you follow that approved food list, seven days, you're going to see a result. And I'm already putting those thoughts in her head. I'm already putting those wins in her head. I'm already being a cheerleader for her. Seven days come. I've touched base with her a couple of times. Now we've got a bigger bond, bigger relationship. By 30 days, I go, listen, I want you to get this for what I pay for. I don't want you to have to pay a penny more. Let me show you how. And then Susan gets on with Anthony on a Zoom. We convert her over to a brand partner and the rest is history. And I do that over and over and over and over again. That's the name of the game. Beth Johnson, you were raising your hand. Um, Ashley had me, um, her and I are in a message with all of my people that are, have started on drops in the past 30 days so that she's helping cheer on with me. So we they have another connection with someone. And I feel like the people that, because we just started it yesterday and people are already responding really well to that. Um, I had a couple people that already have a connection with Dr. Crystal through the events we just did. This. So I did do a couple people in um, a group message with um, Crystal and then with Ashley as well. Um, and I think that's it's already showing to be such a positive thing 
for my people, um, feeling encouraged, feeling supported. Um, so I'm pretty grateful that my leaders, you know, do that because um, such a benefit, not only to myself, but for my people. Beth, thanks for sharing that. And I want to tell you this. I'm going to go back to something Anthony just posted. Anthony, don't let me forget to say this, but I want to say this about what Beth just said, and great point. Ask yourself this question. How many of you, maybe put it in the chat where I can see, how many of you enrolled or, or maybe you've just, you've created uh, retail sales in the last 30 days? Maybe you sent a smart link, maybe you've given them the product, maybe you've mailed them the product. Put it in the comments, like just me, me, me. I just want to see. Alan says yes. Eva Marie, Melissa Jackson, Joan, Robin, Marlene, Lance, Alan White, Ashley Paulson, Anna. Keep them coming now if you have. I, I, I want to try to acknowledge. Look at them right now. Valerie, Ileana. Tammy, that's a lot of people. I don't know. Is Tammy still on? Here. Listen, that's a lot of people right there. Let me ask a question. Do you think all the me's? Now, I want I want you to answer. I want you to like play along with me here. Answer yes or no. Have you gotten those people connected with someone else in the business since they've been on the problems? Yes or no? And, and just play along. It's okay to say no. Alan White says no. Kathleen says no. I've done it 100,000 times. My answer would be no. You'd think I'd learn. Lance McAllister says no. Melissa Jackson, no. Some, but not all. You know why? Because we get busy. We're busy people. Life, things going on. I, I, I give a five-day trial, and then I go, oh, my goodness, it's been 15 days. I haven't touched base with them. I almost feel too guilty to touch base with them at this point. I let them fall through the crack. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the Achilles heel of network marketing. That is a warm person that just bought that if I would have cultivated a relationship, I could have created, I could have created a recruit and tapped into residual income. And you go, well, how hard is it? Just be their cheerleader. We live in a world where people do not brag on people. People do not love on people. Just be the difference. Teachers are going to school and they're just getting slapped all the time around with what they're not doing right. People are going to corporate America and they're getting less money and more work and told that your job's in jeopardy. And then they come here and Tom starts bragging on them and starts being their cheerleader and starts going, oh my gosh, you lost a pound? Holy moly, you slept through the night on Renew? Listen, let me tell you, you're going to, by 30 days, it's going to be incredible. I mean, that crow's feet around your eyes is going to be gone that you've been talking about. Like, like you start, here's the power of network marketing. If you, do, if you miss this, you've missed it. We believe in people before they believe in their self. And if you can do that, if you can be a person that breathes life into a person before they even know they've got life in their lungs, you can make millions in this business because that's what we do. That's the secret. It's not knowing the science of slender eyes or renew. It helps. It helps to know. It helps to not feel dumb when somebody asks you. 
but it's not the it, it's not the secret. The secret is your excitement. Susan said it. When the renewed light, she was so fired up, she couldn't hush about it. And so therefore, people started coming. People started asking. It's the energy. It's the excitement. But then it's the continuous following up. If I could show you my... my Oh, my goodness. Just give me just a second. Okay, this is a lady right here. You, you don't have to read all this, but follow me. It's got, it leads clues, okay? I've recruited a lot of people to the industry. But this lady, we're in communication. And she's asking questions. And then on July the 1st, she says, okay, I will let you know. Thanks for the info. Now, Tracy Turnberg would tell you that when he used to sell at the fair, people would say, I'll be, I'll be back. He, call, he calls it the be back people. Guess what? They never come back. I'll be back. They never come back. So that's why you get their number. That's why you get their connection. Because when they tell you they'll be back, that's it. So you got to have something to reach back out and follow up with. Here, on the 4th, I reached back out to her and said, Happy Independence Day. She didn't respond. July the 8th, I said, Hey, Vicki, have you thought any more? And guess what? I think I want to try. Just let me know how to get you the money. Bingo. She, she orders, right? This was an accident, a five-day trial. She gets it. And guess what I become? Her biggest cheerleader. Oh, my goodness. You're going to sleep so good tonight. You're on it. Because I have an end goal in mind of what? Moving it from a retail sale to a recruit. Can I tell you right now, my biggest fear with people that do retail sales is that they will retail and sell 500 things and they'll let all 500 of them fall through the crack. Don't let them fall through the crack. Make the sale, but become the cheerleader. Now, how many of you could write crack? <laughs> I'm a new to myself. How many of you could write crack in the comment? <laughs> oh, I let them slip through the crack. Oh, yes. I am guilty. But guess what? That's where the fortune lies. That's where all the money is. Because those people that slip through ends up becoming million dollar earners in somebody else's business. I've seen it story after story after story after story. So right now with our company getting ready to go and do what it's doing, and we're just seeing it. Like people talk about like we're in full-blown momentum. No, we're not. No, we're not. But let me tell you, we're five months in, and it's been pretty busy in June and July, which is a telltale sign that I need to engage and I need to start connecting the dots of people because those retail will turn into recruits if I become their cheerleader and if I connect the dots with them and somebody in the business. How many appointments can you make this week? That's income producing activities. Appointments, appointments, appointments. It's not, it's not rocket science. Alan White could book 100 appointments next week. And guess what? You know who's going to work the hardest? Me. Because I'm working for Alan. He'll have me driving all over the place. He's like, I can't even be there. Don't worry about it, Alan. I'll be there for you. 
Why? Because I have a mutual financial tie to Allen. That's just business. Bill and Susan Salem could book me for 100 appointments next week. And I did that. I, I couldn't not say no because we have a tie here. Find your tie in person and wear them out. Wear them out. Because if they say no, they don't get the game. Marlene, right? They don't get the game if they say no. Find your person that financially is tied to you that gets the game. And then you wear them out with people to talk to. Now, this is not wearing them out. Hey, this is Jonathan's number. Could you call them for me and see if they're interested? No. You connect with them and then, and then we'll connect. And I'll give you something that looks like, okay? I'm gonna play a scenario and I'm gonna let you go for today. I know I talked a lot, but it's super important because I see people selling five-day trials out there. I see them selling slender eyes. And the biggest fear for me is to know all of those people that are doing it could possibly let great leads slip through the cracks because they're not becoming their cheerleader. Okay, Tom gets on the product. I just got to be willing to say, oh my gosh, Tom, <laughs> I can't wait for you to get on this renew. Listen, I'm going to check up on you on a daily basis, like just being your accountability partner. Like you're going to sleep so good tomorrow night when you take your first one. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll check back up on you. And Tom's like, wow, that doesn't happen in the world. You know, nobody wants to be an accountability, right? I mean, it's not normal for people to love on you, to take care of you, to brag on you. Be that difference. So here's the deal. As we close, if you're moving product, smart lean, in person, don't matter what, give it to them. Day one, become a cheerleader. Day one, become a cheerleader. And have the end goal in mind of I will recruit that person to becoming a brand part. Remember, I didn't say recruit them and throw a business presentation in front of them. I said recruit them and become a brand partner. If somebody says, oh, my goodness, I want to make some money, recruit with a business presentation. If somebody's on the product, using the product, be their cheerleader and then connect them to somebody in the business to recruit them to get their product for free, make a little extra money, and get a wholesale pricing. And then you can take them to the next step. So recruit or retail, just like the Scott said last Saturday, retail, then recruit by being their cheerleader, by following up, by staying on board with them. Don't let them slip through the crack. And then that person will turn in to be a residual client for you, which is the name of the game for network marketing. You build a downline of people that are buying and enjoying the products and reordering for the enjoyment of the products, you've got walk away income and time freedom. All of this is going to be heavily like, like spent time on in Orlando with a massive vision setting for the future. Um, be there. Be on the call tomorrow night. We're going to start promoting it heavy, and we're going to be throwing pictures and everything, all this fanfare up as we lead up to it from now until the event. Did this add value today? I hope it did. I hope you listened in because it is the right time. My book is filled up with people because it's the right time. I do live off residual income. But the reason I'm picking my pace is because it's time. It's go time. And I've got a running all the way through to Thanksgiving. You can run as hard as you want. Do what? So, all right, guys. Love you. Appreciate you. 
Have a good Tuesday. We'll see you back in two weeks. Thanks, Brent. Bye, Brent. Bye, Thank guys. You, Thank you so much. Day. Have a Thank great you, day. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. Thank you. Thanks, Brent. Thank Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thanks, Brent. Thank you, Brent. Thanks, Brent. Guys, see you, Adam. Love Thanks. You guys.